All right, here we go. We got another one. Today we have a CT Sounds M75.4. This is a four channel mini amplifier. Uh, the sample is actually given to me or well, provided to me by Nick over at Works Auto Sound. Uh, you can check out their website. I'll put the link in the description. It's worksautosound.com. They do automotive installs, uh, stereos, GPS, remote starters, lighting, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they're based in Rhode Island. So check them out. Uh, real cool guys. Thanks for letting me use your amp. All right, so CT Sounds M75.4. I think this is a beautiful amplifier. I love the real plain, just brushed aluminum look with the engraved logo. I think it looks amazing. I wish they made all their amps exactly like this, you know, even the bigger ones. I think it looks really, really clean. I mean, you could do all kinds of vanity panels around this and just, it wouldn't even look like an amplifier. It would just look like, you know, a logo. I love that. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's really small. Some really, really tiny terminals on it. I guess they kind of had to to pack it all in this end plate. It's, it's pretty small. I and mean, you can see based on my hand, and I have pretty small hands. So, real nice amplifier. I really like that. All right, so this is rated at 210 watts, uh, bridged by two at four ohm. So that's how we're gonna test it today. We're gonna do four ohm bridged. No real reason to test each side or each channel. Uh, I think bridged will give us a real good idea what this amplifier can put out. So again, it's uh, 210 watts by two at four ohm, but that's actually at 12.8 volts. They rate their amplifiers at 12.8, which is really, really cool actually. Um, so we're actually gonna be for a change above that voltage. Uh, I have my new 14 volt battery bank. So actually I'm gonna be above that for, <laughs> It's the first time ever, I think. Usually, I was before I was under voltage, so um, we'll see what it does with a little bit of extra voltage. All right, let's take a look inside. Real compact. I mean, not a whole lot going on in here. Uh, it's got two FETs per output, uh, single power supply. Pretty basic amplifier. Um, nothing extraordinary going on here. I'm pretty impressed how compact they can make this though. So as long as it does rated power, which I think it will, that'll be pretty impressive for the size of this amplifier. So it's got some weight to it. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels really well built. But all right, let's get right into some testing. Okay, so for these tests, I'm just gonna be doing a four ohm bridge test on one side of this amp. So, I mean, that'll give you a good idea what it will do per channel. So we're going to do 4 ohms bridged, uh, certified, uncertified, and dynamic runs. I'm also going to be doing, um, measuring the amperage, so we can do an efficiency test. So, here we go, we're going to do a 4 ohm certified test first. So 239, and we drew 32 amps exactly, and that was at 14.67 volts, so pretty good. This amp is rated at 12.8, um, so it's, it's about right probably. Um, I probably could drop down the voltage to 12.8, but realistically this is probably closer to what you'll get in your car. So. We're going to go by this. So 239 watts certified, 32 amps. So not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this retuned for an uncertified test. Before I go ahead and do this uh, uncertified run, I went ahead and ran the numbers for the efficiency test. So we got 32 amps at 14.67 volts. Um, so that equals out to 469.4 watts in. Uh, and we got 239 watts out, so the amp's actually only about 50% efficient, which is actually really surprising. I thought it would be a lot more efficient, especially, I mean, based on the size it is. Um, most of these newer small amps like this are pretty efficient. So let's go ahead and do the uncertified 4 ohm test. 
And here we go. So 278 watts. That's at 15.37 volts. Pretty high voltage. Let me go ahead and uh, let's run this one more time. See, see if we can drop that voltage down a little bit closer to our other run. Probably shouldn't have charged my batteries up quite so much. So let's see what it does with a little bit less voltage. Get a, hopefully a little bit more realistic number. Okay, so 265, and that was at 14.89 volts, so a little bit better. We'll go with that one. So 265 watts at 14.89 volts. All right, let me retune this, and we'll go ahead and do a dynamic run. Two hundred and eighty two watts at fourteen point five nine volts. It's pretty impressive out of this little tiny amp actually. So almost three hundred watts per side. So that's hundred and fifty watts per channel. So it's pretty good. Uh, that would be at a two ohm load per channel, so at four ohm you you know figure a little bit less than that, but um, still pretty good considering the size. I mean this thing's really small. So thanks for watching my video guys. Um, check out my Facebook page. I'll have the link down in the description again. And make sure you check out my Patreon page too. Uh, it really helps any little bit. I know I got a couple guys on here. Thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, it really helps with uh, upgrading my little dyno setup here and uh, doing as many videos as I possibly can. Um, so thanks a lot guys, make sure you rate and subscribe and I'll be back with more.